Hello and welcome to IX Payments videos. This video will focus on the virtual terminal feature in Brickwork, the payment processing application built by IATS Payments for use in Salesforce.com. If you're interested in a more general overview of Brickwork, check out our general introduction video. Okay, let's get started. The Brickwork virtual terminal can be accessed via the IATS button. This button can live on the contact, recurring donation, or opportunity record, depending on your organization's processes and needs. The location of the IATS button can be configured during the installation and configuration stage when getting started with Brickwork. The virtual terminal allows you to process one-time donations directly from the contact record or set up and manage recurring donations directly from an opportunity or recurring donation record. Clicking on the IATS button launches the virtual terminal. As you can see, the name and address details are automatically pulled from the contact record for your convenience. First, select which IATS account to use for this transaction. The IATS account references the client code and password details for your IATS merchant account. Next, select whether you'd like to process a one-time payment or set up a recurring payment. Let's process a one-time credit card donation now. Simply select one-time payment, select the credit card entry mode, either manually entering the card number or using a USB magnetic stripe reader. Then select credit card. Enter the details of the credit card and the donation and select Process One-Time Payment. The Save Payment Information option allows you to securely save these credit card details as an IATS customer code to be used for processing future one-time transactions. This Create New Donation checkbox can be automatically defaulted via IATS settings and when selected will create a new opportunity or donation record for the new one-time transaction. Once you've entered the credit card and amount details, simply click on Process One-Time Payment to process the transaction. Once the transaction is processed, you'll receive a message indicating the success of the transaction. You can simply refresh the contact record to see this transaction associated with the contact. Success! Now let's take a look at setting up recurring transactions using the virtual terminal. The virtual terminal can set up recurring credit card or ACH also known as direct debit, transactions. Here we'll just go through the recommended workflow for scheduling recurring transactions with Brickwork. In this video, we describe three possible models. One, the standard IATS option, which creates one opportunity with multiple related IATS transactions. Two, integration with the nonprofit starter pack's contacts and organization's payments option, where payment records are automatically created and related to one opportunity record. Or three, the recurring donation integration when the nonprofit starter pack's recurring donation app is installed and subsequent transactions are related to individual donation records. More details on all of these models can be found in the Brickwork Installation and Configuration Guide. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to set up a recurring payment based on the nonprofit starter pack's payments option. First, go to the donor's contact record and select New Opportunity. Name the new opportunity based on your internal procedures. Check Do Not Automatically Create Payment. This is important to allow you to create all future payments associated with this opportunity in the next steps. Complete the rest of the fields as you wish. Next, instead of using the Payments Wizard, click the IATS button to launch the virtual terminal within the opportunity record. Select the IATS account to process these recurring transactions. Click on the Recurring Payments button. Here you can select the method of payment, either credit card or bank withdrawal. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll choose bank withdrawal. In the Recurring Payments section, input the amount for the recurring transaction, the begin date, end date, and schedule type. This will be a monthly transaction from this donor's bank account. The details of their bank account are entered here. After we refresh the opportunity, we now see multiple payment records have been created based on the schedule selected and a related IATS customer code. All future IATS transactions will automatically be related to each pre-existing payment record and marked as paid. If this recurring payment schedule needs to be modified or edited in the future, simply click on the IATS button on the opportunity record to access the IATS customer code, which is the securely stored payment token. 
Here you can edit or modify the recurring payment schedule, amount, or account details. It's as easy as that. Brickwork is very customizable. As mentioned before, there are several models to handle the workflow of creating and managing recurring payments using Brickwork in Salesforce. Our installation and user guides explain the options in great detail. This concludes our overview of the virtual terminal in Brickwork. If you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more, check out our other videos or drop us a line. Thanks for watching and have a great day.